It's week two of the NFL preseason, where depth charts and playbooks will be put to the test. It's the Condors and the Aviators, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. Now from the host city of so many Pro Bowls, we're on the island of Oahu in the capital city of Honolulu, Hawaii. But tonight we've got a preseason matchup as it'll be the Condors of Oakland taking on the Aviators of Honolulu. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis, happy to be back alongside you. And I'll tell you what, yes, it's just week two of the preseason, but now they've got one game under their belts and a lot of guys trying to prove some stuff down on the field here today. Not only that, these coaches like to win. And I used to think it really didn't matter who won in the preseason. Then I watched some of those shows that the NFL does, and you see the coaches in preseason after a loss jumping all over their guys. So I learned one valuable lesson. Wins and losses count no matter what time of year it is. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Breaks through the contact. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by the veteran in his 10th NFL campaign, Jimmy Garoppolo. And Jimmy Garoppolo has shown that he can be a Super Bowl quarterback, but his biggest problem, his ability to stay healthy and remain on the field. When able, he's a capable quarterback prone to winning games both in the regular and postseason. And that's not the start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Good coverage there, an even 50-yard punt. Leads to a return of five. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They're brought out by a man now in his 15th NFL season, one of the most productive passers in league history, and a former Super Bowl champion, Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick. Throughout his career, he's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know, and most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with, and there's a completion right there. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. A first run now for Kyron Williams. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. Second down and six now. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Stafford. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week. 
but they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. So the sack of Garoppolo. And now what can they come up with on third and long? He'll drop to throw. And pressure coming, and they got it once again. Byron Young providing a little deja vu. Back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. Here's A.J. Cole now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Returnable here from the 38. Boy, shifts past him. Almost out kicked his coverage there. 48 yard punt, but 10 on the return. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Pass complete there in the cooler. And they'll work this down to the 40 yard line. Tackled there. First down at Stafford. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Here's Stafford. Got a man open, it's Tyler Higby. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Play action, Stafford. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Throwing again at Stafford. Well, a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive. But a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Throwing is Stanford. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. Marr able to put this one through, and that'll make it 3-0 here in the first. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Now Garoppolo. Caught on the right side by Adams. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. At the 22-yard line. 
Garoppolo to throw on second down. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. Takes this up just short of the 30, but he was able to avoid that earlier tackle. Nice move. Third and four. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. So, Charles, this defense in for a tough matchup. What do, what do you think the game plan is here tonight? Well, I think the game plan is the same as most, which is, hey, pass rushers, do your job. Coverage guys, do your job. And the linebackers are going to be a mix. Sometimes they'll drop in coverage. Sometimes they'll pressure the quarterback. But all in all, you never want to let that quarterback get a string of completions going because if so, they're hard to deal with, and it makes for a long evening. And that flag accepted. Still first down. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Here's Jacobs from the gun. Ooh, the juke. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Second down, Jacobs once more. Able to slither by. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That good for 22 and a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. The all-everything defensive tackle, Aaron Donald, the one who made the play there. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. They will run the draw with Jacobs. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they delivered there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. Garoppolo now. This is caught. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. To number 17, Devontae Adams. A gain of seven. Garoppolo looks to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Now we've got third and goal coming up, and can you imagine being in that hole, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Josh Jacobs taking it in from two yards out. And the Condors are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it and catch it, and he gets it done. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And the Honolulu offense set to take over possession of the football. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way we can even describe it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on the offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. <laughs> and I feel a little bit like a traitor as a former defender because that big man did not want to go 
down and refuse to go down. If you're a defender and you'll get the right angle on a big tight end like him, he can run right through you like you're not even there. And he did a lot of that on that play. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there. The rookie Tyree Wilson, a first round pick there to bring him down. A shotgun snap for Stafford. He'll get this one to cut complete. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Second quarter down, it's our home team with possession. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Stafford. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. On second down, Jacobs. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Nothing too fancy, just a carry up the middle, but a successful carry up the middle against this 3-4 defense. And to be able to do that, what do you have to control? The nose guard, right? Got to be able to move him. Otherwise, you're not getting anything up the middle. Nice job by the center. Got a little help from one of his friends playing guard. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked out before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. Rappers. And this throw brought in here by Mayer. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Here's third and 10. Here's Garoppolo to throw. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them. Right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. So possession goes over here on the punt. On first down, Stafford here. Short throw, it's Higby. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. Back to throw, Stafford. And he slings one that's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Tyree Wilson drops it for a loss of 12, and it also brings up fourth down. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So they bring out their putter as he's on to kick it away. 
He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here comes Abdullah on the return. A punt of 46, a return of five. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now Garoppolo is in trouble, and down he goes. Aaron Donald, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. And a Honolulu offense set to take over possession of the football. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. From the gun, here's Stafford. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Move the chains. A gain of seven on third down. Now a first down throw. Stafford. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. He goes underneath to Freeman. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Throws left side. Atwell's got it. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll bring us to a third and four. Now Stafford. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. To the air again, Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 15 yards there on the catch and run. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. From the red zone now, Stafford. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. 
Second and ten, Stafford again. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. Now Stafford. He'll find a man over the middle, 2-2 Atwell. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Throwing again at Stafford. Throw right side complete to Williams. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. To throw on second down to Stafford. Finding Williams once more, complete. So nothing doing there. And that'll bring up a third down and goal. Here's Stafford. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. The kick by Maher is good, and they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. On the return, here comes Amir Abdullah. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here comes the offense again, and let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who have been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys on the other side of the football. And they've moved them out of the way for the run. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. Now Garoppolo throwing on second. Throw out wide is incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. On third down, here comes Jacobs. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. This offense back to work now late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three, and take some momentum into the locker room. On first down at Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense, as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Second down and four. Stafford now to throw. A quick throw, but incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Out of the gun, Stafford. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Merrill. And a big return will get him all the way down to the 35. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it. And that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. 
And they will begin in field goal range already as they search for a potential score. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. The kick by Carlson is good, and they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in just a minute. Week two of the preseason is upon us. Each team now with just one more game after this one. And then we will get it all started as we normally do on the first Thursday after Labor Day. We just watched a solid first half from the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacobs. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Taken at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, They've been playing pretty well, and they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. On second down, Evans looking for space. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a first down on a game of 10. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. Nate Hobbs there to bring him down. Here's a second and five. They fake the give. Now wins. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. And they will set up shot in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. So the ball changing hands on the interception. But meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. A quick throw out right here. He's got it complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Here's second and five now from the 37. Option play. Here's White. And running room scares here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. They'll come up facing third and five. Sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Come on, Nat. And they'll accept that penalty. 
still third down. Delay of game penalty. Ships him back five yards, makes it third and ten. Now it's O'Connell. And that will be incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Well, the Honolulu offense set to take over possession of the football. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try to get some points. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Working from the gun, Wentz. Pass caught, it's been Skoranek. First target, first catch, and a first down. From the gun, it's Wentz. To the right, and Skoranek is there. The broken tackle couldn't create a ton of space. He'll be taken down just beyond the 35-yard line. This is second and eight. Wins to throw again. That's going to be caught by Rivers. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that'll leave them with a third and just a yard. They'll try and run for this with Evans. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Again, a run with Evans. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Now a play fake. Wentz has an open man. Skoranek. And he'll get nothing out of that one. So no gain on the play. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Wentz. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A really good pickup of 28 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. On first and 10, it's Evans. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Now hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. On second down, here's Wentz. Goes to his man on the outer round. It's complete. That's Robinson. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. They'll run here with Evans. And they get him down at the run. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. Second and goal from the one. Evans again. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Zach Evans punching it in from a yard away. And the Aviators have taken the lead here in this third quarter with that being their best drive of the game so far as they use the running game to get them into the end zone. Couldn't agree more, partner, prior to that drive. They sputtered a little bit, but it looks like they found the formula. I would expect them to go back to that more and more as this game develops. 
Extra point by Moore, up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They start to drive with White. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Ernest Jones there for the tackle. From the 34-yard line, here's second and five. Off the play fake, O'Connell. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. It's been a struggle for him accruing yards in this game, passing the football. So there he said, hey, I'm going to try to chuck it deep, but another incompletion. It has to be a little bit frustrating because of what you just described. It's been a struggle for him here in the second half, hoping for one big shot to get him out of the doldrums. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's looking sharp here so far in the third quarter, Charles. It appears that the halftime gave him a little bounce. You know, came out, spring in his legs, a little pep in his step. He's taken off and running really well in the third quarter. Sometimes we talk about how guys don't want halftime to come, but some guys are happy when that break gets there. You never know which way it's going to go. He's taking advantage of it in this one, though. From the 21, here's the second and eight. Now wins. That's complete to Skoranek out left. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage in the 31 now on first and 10. Shotgun now for Wentz. Escaping the play. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. He's known for his legs and his fancy footwork, but not getting much of a chance to use it here. The defense continued to hold the upper hand by bringing him down on that play. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Straight ahead, it's Evans. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. 48 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. What do they have for this? Third and 11. Wentz going to throw. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and that will come the offense as they take over. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Throwing, O'Connell. Short pass caught by the tight end, Gentry. And he goes out right around the 39. First target, first catch, and a first down. And O'Connell now to throw. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he'll take it across midfield and down the 48-yard line. Well, this is one of the downsides of being a rookie quarterback. You know you're going to get called out about everything you do that goes wrong. Here, maybe he's a little uncertain about where to go with the football. And at this level, uncertainty equals turnovers. And this one winds up being intercepted. 
And the Honolulu offense set to take over possession of the football. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and ten as this new drive starts. So after the INT, here's Wentz. Complete. It's Johnson. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Back now here on EA Sports. Wentz to throw on second down. It's been a very highly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They tried to throw on second down. Unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll try and run for it with Evans. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. They'll go right back to Evans here on first down. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Wentz now to throw. He's got it, the tight end Allen. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. Well, we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. On first and 10, here's Wentz. And his throw is incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and six. They'll stay on the ground, Evans again. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more of a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They'll go for it. It's Wentz. Into the hands of Scarlett. And well, he is trying to get to the marker. Going to depend on the spot, but I'm not sure he got there, and he did not. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call, and the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall. First on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up, but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, They'll go out there and stop them. I like the confidence he showed. The first run for the backup, Abdullah. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Second and six. Second and six. They run straight ahead here with White. Muscles him off. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. It's a first down on a gain of 10. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. O'Connell looking to throw on first. He's got Hooper on the short connection. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. White, he'll try the left side. 
And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on here to punt it away. This is brought in at the 21. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Well, the Honolulu offense making its return to the field now. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Throwing on first is Wentz. And a catch made by Hopkins. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Now Wentz. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They give him 12 yards and a first down. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. They'll run on first down with Evans. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in the yard. They run with Rivers. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around camp. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Down the right sideline. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Coaches always tell their players someone's got to make a big play, but what they mean is a game-altering play, a game-changing play, a turnover force, and we just got that. I mean, how about that play, Brandon? Yeah, a pick six, fourth quarter, that is a game-changer. Someone read their keys, and someone had the courage to go after the ball right then and there. And it gives them the lead. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. This take it in at the goal line. Escapes the defender. And he returns this to the 22. And the Honolulu offense set to take over possession of the football. And they have to try and move past that pick six because now they're dealing with a fourth quarter deficit. And they need this drive to end in points. Now Wentz to try again after the pick six. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. 80 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. Third and two. On play action. Wins. And he is caught. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 32 on the play. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives him the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there.
So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll run it here with Rivers. And maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. That's over 40 yards of movement for those last two plays. Well, they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Wentz now on first down. That's going to be caught by Rivers. Two yards on the pickup there. And that'll bring up second down. Brings up second and eight at the 23-yard line. So the false start will back them up five. False start. Awesome. Well, maybe he was going to be involved in that play from his tight end spot, and he jumped. Yeah, don't tell me that those guys don't like to block. That's what we say about them nowadays in the NFL. But I think he thought he was one of the key pieces in that play. They wanted to get out and execute the assignment very fast. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Throwing his wins. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. They'll toss this out right for Evans. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. A lot on the line here, even for just a preseason game. Jobs to be won and lost. It's third down. Now wins. And that pass finds Kuppel on the sideline. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. He got out of bounds. That's a good thing, but still short of the first. And now, since this brings up fourth down, the defensive play caller, grab your nerves because now you don't want to be so amped up that you give them a first down by getting out of your lanes, but you also don't want to just lay back and let them have it easily. Yeah, now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. Evans. Is into the end zone. Touchdown. And this is the time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with the touchdown run to take the lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The situation for him offensively as follows. Down 20 to 17, just over a minute, 40 to play. You can't say the preseason isn't interesting. This has been great as they come up first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. They'll try again here, second and 10. O'Connell. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Here's O'Connell. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to save every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, 
It may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Well, this crowd doing their best to make a lot of racket. It's third and five. Pass complete. It's Adams. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it, and that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill, the offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. Well, the Honolulu offense making its return to the field now. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. On third down, here's Evans. With his free, and he is going to have a first down here, and that should be the one that seals a victory. And they will take a knee here. Well, partner, it's just preseason, but it always feels good to be in victory formation, taking the knee for the W. Yeah, I've often thought to myself when I watch these preseason games, some teams need the wins more than others. You know, if you're established and you're used to winning, not quite the same. But if you're trying to learn how to win, it's important to get it done and to be able to kneel down at the end, even better. So plenty of smiles for the folks here as they head for the exits. It's a victory for their hometown guys. And a little bit of a surprise, they lose the turnover battle, but wind up winning the ball game. And this is very unusual because you know all teams stress winning the turnover battle as a key indicator to winning ball games. So when you get something that goes against the grain, like the one we saw here, it's quite the oddity. Now let's face it, they'll be very happy that they pulled this off. But they do know that in the future, they've got work on taking care of the football because this won't happen very often. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. Good night, everybody.